Welcome back everyone to another half dollar hunt. Today we got a four box half dollar hunt. Not Loomis, this time it is Brinks. Though it doesn't say it, it is Brinks. So hopefully we have some different results. Hoping for maybe a few silvers. If I don't get a few silvers, we're looking for proofs. Nice NIFCs, like really nice. They gotta be in really good shape for me to keep them. Or any other miscellaneous, double die, whatever. All right, let's get in to the hunt. All right, guys, roll number six. We're gonna have our first find. It is a 1987 Denver NIFC. These are pretty hard to come by. And the second hardest NIFC to come by, right behind the 1970 NIFC. Great first find. That's also in really nice condition. Um, so hopefully that's a good sign for the rest of the box. We were on roll number 30, and I just put a 19, well, I just flipped the 1982 over. Not in good shape, but we're checking for that no FG to make sure there's no FG there. And, uh, on a regular coin, let me just find a, that's not one. Here. There is the FG, very clear, loud and proud. But... Are they 1982? Not there. So that is a 1982, no FG. Pretty cool. Hopefully we can get another error, maybe a silver on the box. But if not, we had three more boxes or something. We are done with that box and we only had a couple of finds. Dirty camera, one second. And we only had a couple of finds, but it was a 1987 Really nice NIFC, and that 1982 no FG, which is nice because I don't get no FGs that often. Let me crack open. Let me crack open into the second box and see what we can find. All right, guys, another box and no silver. In fact, we had no find. Um, little update: the four box hunt has turned into an eight box hunt, and the last four boxes have. Some enders. Let's get into the next box. All right, guys, up until roll 14 of box number three of four of the Brinks boxes, we haven't had anything, but I just cracked into this roll and we got a blazing silver edge. Hopefully it's 90. And it's a Benji. I was not expecting that 1963 Denver. Let me just show you better. 63 Denver. I definitely was not expecting a Benjamin Franklin out of that. But that's uh, a nice one. A great coin for the collection and a great coin to start off the box. <laughs> well, roll number 21 of box three. And or roll number 121. And we got a 40% it looks like. Yeah, a 40% silver half dollar. So, let's see what the year is. 1968. That's another silver for the board. All we need is a proof for that fill the board hunt. Next roll. And I started peeling back the paper. And we got another silver. 1969. Another 40% for the board. <laughs> wow. It went from two bad boxes to one great box. I guess I can't say anything bad about Brinks boxes anymore. Because we're on roll 24. And I peeled it back and I saw another 40%er. And it's another 1969. And uh, those two silvers sort of have the same gunk on them. So maybe... We got a small little collection dump, hopefully. But I'll take four silvers and a Benji. I'll take just a Benji any day. All right, let's hope there's more. Maybe the red, white, and blue bicentennial ender is giving us some good luck. All right, we've made our way down to the bottom half of the box. We're on roll 27 and we got what seems to be another 90 percenter. And it's another Benji. And another 1963 Denver. Two Benjis in one box. 
and both are in pretty good shape. That's fun. All right, that's very fun. Maybe the red, white, and blue is bringing us some luck. Roll 34, and uh, we got another silver. I think, I think, I think it's gonna be an older silver. There's two, there's two old ones in here. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna do this one first. This one looks less old. And that one was a walking liberty. The, the lesser old one was a walking liberty. 1941 out of Denver. And this one is also a walking liberty. 1942 out of Philadelphia. Wow, two walking liberties in one roll. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, guys, we're on that same roll. And I just put a really nice 1972 under the scope. And it's a DDO. Uh, these are really hard to come by. And I know people who have been hunting half dollars for years and years and they haven't found any. And I found three. So uh, this channel is pretty lucky. That's a 1972 DDO in very nice shape. The back is really nice on that one. Hmm. There's a little bit of the ring of death. So it's a little disappointing. But a great find. Great find. To go along with our seven silvers. For no enders, this box... This box is uh, pretty good to say the least. Because we just got another, another silver. And let's see what it is. And it is another, not only is it another 90%, but it is another Benjamin Franklin. 1962 Denver. This is really fun. And I mean, I didn't think I was going to have any silver in these in this batch. But that just goes to show you that Coronal hunting is a game of persistence. Just a few rolls later, we got a foreign coin. This is a Republic, uh, Republica de Panama commemorative, or maybe just a new design. Uh, Banco Nacional de Panama. So, National Bank of Panama. Um, from 2009. So, pretty cool. Miscellaneous find. Roll 44. We got another 90. This is a great box. Definitely one of the better ones I've had in a while. <laughs> oh my god. Every time I just not expecting another Benji. 1963 Denver again. That is the fourth Benji of the box. And the ninth silver. Wow. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words for what this box and what this pickup has become. Super excited, a little bit in shock. We got another box after this and seven rolls. So hopefully, and I'm very thankful for the silver I got, but hopefully we can get at least one or two more. Well, we are on the last roll of the box and we have another 1987 Denver NIFC half dollar. That was also a find in the first box, but I haven't found any since until now. There's nothing else in this roll, so I'm gonna go ahead. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up right now. This box was amazing. We had nine silvers total and 11 total finds, or 12 total finds. Two walkers. Four Benjis, three forties, and then three miscellaneous, one being that 1972 DDO, that foreign coin in the 1987 NIFC. Yes, it's an NIFC and a miscellaneous. Great box. Now let's get on to the last Brinks box, the last box of the hunt. I know I said earlier, you know what? I'm going to do all eight boxes this hunt, um, so let's get on to the last Brinks box, and then I'll start with the Loomis boxes. Well, well, well. Roll number three, and 
<clears throat> I think we got ourselves a silver. Let's see if there's anything else in this roll. Looks there isn't. So it'd be a dirty clad. But it's a 1965. So it is just a clad, but it is silver clad. 40% or 40% silver and 60% copper. A really nice shape, really nice luster. I like that toning on the back. I don't know about you guys, but that's a beautiful coin. Third roll. Woo! Roll 14. We have ourselves an old 90% edge right here. Huh? 1972? Uh, um, I'm going to check some things on this real quick. Okay, so I did some sound checks and I weighed it up. And it weighs what a clad half dollar would weigh. Well, I guess in that light you can see some copper. Well, I got fooled. I mean, that's silver, right? That looks really silvery. Um, that's weird. All right, fake silver, 1972. Is the DDO? No, it's not. Roll number 35. And right in the middle, I think we are going to have another silver on the box. And we will, 1968 Denver, 40%er, second silver on the box. Roll 45, and we have another variety. This is going to be another 1982 No FG. You can see that there is nothing underneath that right leg or wing. I, I don't know what you want to call that. Um, there will be an FG there. On this one, you can see it very clearly that there is an FG. Stand is the initials of the designer of the coin. And then there... There is not. It's also a pretty fairly nice coin. Maybe it's cleaned, but I think those are just die polish marks. Um, and the front is a little bit circulated, but it's pretty nice overall. Cool find. I don't find a lot of no FGs, so I'll take it. All right, guys, we're done with that last Brinks box. And we had two 40 presenters, so definitely not a bad box in the least. But now, Let's get on to the Loomis boxes. Box number five is done, and we had no finds. Let's get on to the next box. All right, guys, we are on roll 26, and we have that proof, a proof ender, one of the two in the two boxes. I'm going to try and open it up with one hand, but this is no easy feat because this paper is very hard to open. So... I might take a couple of tries or it'll go easy. See if there's anything else in this roll. Okay, that's not going to be easy. Let me just get to the proof ender first. All right. Not a silver proof, but it is a 1993 proof. And I don't think there's going to be another proof in this roll. Maybe this coin? No, just a nice bicentennial. We're done with that box. And we just had that proof. It also had a really nice toner. Um, it's hard to see on camera, but in hand it's really nice. There's some rainbow toning up there. And I really like that. And I typically sell these coins um, or just keep them in my collection. Back isn't as nice. Um, but still a nice coin that I like and will keep or sell depending on how I feel. Let's move on to Loomis box number two and box number seven of the hunt. Roll 29 of box three out of four. And I just peeled the roll back and we have 40% silver. Let's see if there's anything on this side and there is not. This silver is 
1968 Denver. Pretty nice condition. It looks like the other 68 that we found. Same color, same condition. But it is a 40 percenter and it'll take silver any day. First find of the box is a silver. Let's go. Roll 47, 46, excuse me, of box uh, six out of seven. I believe I said three out of four last time. I meant three out of four Loomis boxes and seven out of eight boxes in total. We're gonna have a proof ender. So let's try and crack into this roll. The paper has not been easy to, to peel, but hopefully it'll go easy on us for just this one roll, which does not seem to be. Let me, there we go. I believe the ender was on this side. It'll be a 2007 silver, or sorry, proof, not a silver proof. Cool find to go along with our silver, which I do not have because I am not in the same place. We're done with that box. Let's move on to the third and final box, which does have a silver ender, I believe. Um... When we get to it and when we come across it, I will bring you guys in for it. Roll 14 of box eight, and we have a magic coin. Um, and this one has two heads. Heads you win, tails you lose. So we've arrived on that silver ender and I may or may not have accidentally uh, dropped the roll, but we can see from the top that it is a 1966, 40% silver, Half dollar, first silver on the box. Let's go, and hopefully we can get some more silver before the end of the hunt. Roll number 27, and we got another proof. It's in pretty bad shape, but if you look at the mint mark, it is indeed an S. That is a 1982 proof half dollar, third find for the board. We are done with that box, and we are done with the hunt. We had one silver, a magic coin, and a proof. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that this video will be perfect, even though there weren't a lot of finds. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, and I apologize. I've been really busy, um, but I do have four more boxes over there. So this video should come out, and then I should be dropping that video in five days to a week or so. Hopefully, based on editing and everything else. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and happy hunting.